Let's set up the anim trees for soldier body and machine gun. An anim tree lets you coordinate the animation and the model together. That's how the Unreal script talks to your character. Our anim tree is not going to be very complicated, it's pretty much just going to load up the one anim sequence we have. So we got a new anim tree and you call it, in this case, soldier tree will do. When you open the anim tree editor, you get this one node. You can, you can see its properties. We need to add the preview mesh to display in the preview window, and that's done under preview mesh list. You add an entry, expand out that one, and then for the preview skeletal mesh, you click on assign from content browser, and there it goes. We also need to load an anim set to play with, so go find soldier body anims and add an entry in the anim set list and expand that out and then add another entry because you have multiple ones inside of that and assign from content browser. But it's not playing any animations yet, so we need to tell it what to do. We'll go new animation node anim node slot and this can be called slot soldier and let's load an animation for it to play right click and choose new animation sequence and anim node sequence if you want to you can also choose UDK anim node sequence or UT anim node sequence this is different in that it has a auto start button you can turn on and off uh, but for what we're doing, it doesn't make too much difference. Uh, we'll just go with that one. And we'll load it into a source there. And we need to actually set the name of the animation. So to check what that is, we'll go back to Soldier Body Anims and open it up. It's called Soldier Body. Right, so type in, in the anim sequence name property, Soldier Body. And you want to turn on looping and playing. Uh, you'll see it's playing the animation. A uh, really important thing to note is there's a current time value here, which is kind of annoying. Uh, for what we're doing, we need to set it to zero and then close. And it's important to set that to zero last and then close, and then you save your tree. Okay, let's do the same thing with the gun. Uh, new anim tree. We'll call it machine gun tree. And we need to set up its preview mesh. So grab the machine gun. In the preview mesh list, we add an entry and specify from the content browser the machine gun. And you see it shows up there. Now we do the same thing with the machine gun animations. A new entry in preview anim set list. And you expand another entry for anim sets. And there it goes. You can have multiple anim sets. This is rather strange UI, but uh, because you can have a lot of stuff in there. So, uh, with that set up, we go to new animation node, anim node slot. And as before, we give this a name. Let's call it slot machine. That's easy to remember. So we have slot soldier and slot machine. It's important to remember these names because we'll use them in matinee. Now let's load the animation uh, sequence from the anim set and we'll this one is called uh, machine gun anim here goes. Um, this is called machine gun. So, oops, okay, case insensitive, so that's good. You turn on playing and looping, and it's doing this thing. Again, because of the current time value, we need to set it to zero and then close and save. So, there's two new anim sets we've added. And that's about it for that part. What we need to do now is add the content to the scene. So I'm going to grab soldier body, whip this off to the side, and just right click in the scene and go add skeletal mesh. Uh, he'll show up somewhere strange, so we need to go to his properties. And uh, well, the first thing I'm going to do is make him twice as big. This scene is already prepared for that because we're building on what we had before. Essentially, I've just dropped the ground down, so when he is at Zero, zero, zero in his properties, you go to movement and type in zero, zero, zero. Uh, he's standing on the ground. Oop, no, it's not. Okay, so we will drop the ground down so it's under his feet. 
Okay, no problem at all. The other thing you need to specify within the movement part of his properties uh, is movement there. So we set the location. The next thing is we need to set the physics to be physics interpolating because he's being used in matinee and matinee is interpolating keyframes. Uh, you can actually set him wherever you like. Uh, it just has to be the same value that you apply to the machine gun. So uh, we need to add his anim tree template in there. So we need soldier tree to go into anim tree template. And there's a anim set entry there. So we need to find soldier body anims. And load that there. Okay, so you know you have to set up the anim tree, then you have to apply it into the actual mesh you're using in the scene. Uh, that's all we need to set for now here, so no problem. We can close that one, and we'll grab the machine gun and do the same thing again. So add skeletal mesh machine gun, and see it's very small, so we'll scale it up twice as big because that's what we did for him. Then we'll go properties which is F4 and we'll run down to movement first of all and go 0 0 0 and fizz interpolating for the keyframing. Alright so it was up to the top and we need to choose the machine gun anim tree and assign that as a template. We need to choose a machine gun anim set and assign that to the anim set entry and we're done there. Uh, if we go play nothing will happen because Okay, uh, we're actually below the kill Z height, but nothing's happening to the soldier because he's not being told what to do yet. First off, let's deal with the, the scene height. I've dropped the floor down so the character's starting and dropping down below kill Z. So you go to view world properties, kill Z, just set it to like minus 2000 or some huge value uh, so that won't happen again. And test it, of course, doesn't take long, and we're good. Okay, this trigger will also have to come down to the ground. So we'll just drop it down there. It's set to render in the scene so we can see where it is. It'll just turn off its hidden property. Alright, so now, now we need to move on to the Kismet part of things. Go to Kismet, and we're going to shoot everything off of the trigger. So select the trigger, and go to New Event using Trigger Touch. Now we'll go to New Matinee, and hit it into Play. And uh, we'll come back and deal with the settings here afterwards. Uh, we'll go to Open Matinee, and we need to select our one of our meshes. Right click and go New Skeletal Mesh Group, and call it whatever you like. We'll call it Body. Uh, you'll see you get automatically a movement track for if you want to offset his position, and you get an anim track to load an animation into. If we keyframe this to load something there, nothing will happen. Two reasons. Uh, well, the main reason is that you have to go to the body group and enter a group anim set name. So back in the content browser, uh, find the content browser. There it goes. We need to grab soldier body anims and enter it, an entry into group anim sets and then apply it soldier body anims there. Um, now when we get to work, but the other thing we need to do is put type in the slot name that we're referencing in anim tree. So slot soldier in this case and you can then key it and you'll get soldier body which is the the mesh name uh, which is working fine right? now a lot of people will loop this but instead of looping it if you want to loop it you just could turn on right click on the first key there it was highlighted and you right click set looping we're not going to do that we're going to zoom out with the middle mouse wheel and set the end marker here to the longest track endpoint, like so. We'll loop the matinee and kismet. Alright, so this is the setup for that part. Now we need to do the weapon. So we grab the weapon and we right click and go new skeletal mesh group and call it gun. We get the same thing again. We have to grab grab the gun group and go find the machine gun anim set. And in the properties of the gun group, we go down to group anims, set, and enter a new channel, and click on load from content browser. Uh, if you don't do this, it's very it's very easy to forget this, and if you don't do it, you can't add any um, sequence. So we've added it, and this one was called slot machine, if you remember. Now these names are coming from the 
uh, slot name we entered into the anim tree. We need to keyframe the anim uh, track, the keyframe, or you can press enter. And you've only got available one track, so that's pretty easy to set up. Oh, this needs to be back at frame zero, though. So right click on the key and type in zero, and there's a perfect lineup for those two guys. So we can close Matinee now and close the content browser. Click on the Matinee in Kismet and turn it on to looping. So now it will loop. And we want to set a few other settings here just to make sure that these two guys sync up nicely. One is uh, rewind if already playing. Because uh, don't forget, in the anim tree, the anim is set to playing. It's got a sort of current time problem there. Um, anyway, this helps to set that, and we can force start position to zero, which also helps to make sure it's starting at the beginning. I like to turn on rewind on play just to make sure um, it's starting at the beginning too. Okay, so that's about that, and then we can try it out, and you'll notice that nothing is happening. And when you click on the uh, trigger, he starts moving. Okay, and that's what we're aiming for. You can walk right through the character because we haven't set any collision for him and he's got no texture or anything like that. But our goal was just to set the animation so that it syncs between the gun and the man.